Hello, uh, my name's Martin Orford and uh, I, I'm the project manager for 80150, which is uh, this locomotive you see behind me. And uh, we're on the Mid Hants Railway, the Watercrest Line in Hampshire. And uh, this is a project that we started a couple of years ago and um, we'd very much like to tell you about it. I think realistically, when you're putting timelines on locomotive restorations, you can normally add 10 years to your initial estimate and you'll be somewhere near the, the truth. But I think if we were looking at 15 years, that would be a realistic timescale for this project. If enough people want something like this to happen, it'll happen, but we need support, we need people to have faith in the project and keep us, keep us rolling along. When we first looked at this locomotive, it had butterfly bushes growing in the cab. It was one of the rustiest machines I've ever seen. We've got a lot of parts we need to make. Um, we've got a lot of work that needs doing. Ultimately, what we'd like to do is to get it to our works in Rockley. And we're probably a few years away on that, but there's quite a lot we can do where it is at the moment in Alsford. And being here, we're right by the central car park, and it attracts a lot of interest. This being a long-term project, it's all volunteers working on this. So we're a bunch of guys having a go and seeing if we can make a difference, basically. It's a social thing as well as an engineering project and uh, we have a lot of fun, we have a laugh, we take the mickey out of each other and uh, it's, it's just great fun, you know, it's good to be here. To me personally it's been a tremendous project for me, you know, it's, I've needed something to get my teeth into for the last few years, uh, last couple of years personally have been difficult but it's been pure escapism for me so it's been an absolute fantastic, yeah the gang I work with are absolutely a superb bunch of guys and yeah, I couldn't recommend it enough to people. If you're thinking of getting involved in something, get involved. I definitely get younger people involved. I mean, I'm the youngest one in the group so far. I mean, I'm 21. <laughs> and I would definitely encourage anyone who wants to come work down on the loco. That, I mean, how many people can turn around and say they've worked on one of the Barry's 10? <laughs> for the last ones over there. It's kind of taken over my life a bit, if I'm honest, but it's a fabulous project. Um, it's got loads of potential. Um, this rusty engine, as I've said before, has been the catalyst in meeting an incredible team of people that wouldn't have come together otherwise. And we've got so much positivity from it. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing to be part of. My name's Bob Cartwright. Um, I started on the railways in 1962. Um, at that time, an awful lot of young guys like me wanted to become engine drivers and I'm possibly one of the few that actually did. You can always tell an old steam man, not there's many of us left now, but you can always tell an old steam man that spent a lot of time on these things because nine times out of ten he'll have a cloth about him somewhere or other to use. If he, Sometimes I even find myself with a cloth in my hand on top of the gear stick in my car, but that, that's, that's the habit you got into uh, of, of using a cloth to ensure that you didn't get burnt. I have a little bit of history going back with this engine insofar as that um, towards the end of the Watercrest business with the railway, before it went all in on the road, I came up here with this engine one day to pick up the Watercrest van and take it back to Winchester to be taken up to London. It's perfect for our trains. It's the right size, it's not too powerful, and it's not insufficient in power. It's just the right size for the sort of services we run on this Heritage Railway. Yeah, I'm definitely going to stay here for the duration of the whole thing. I want to see it steaming again, Esther Martin and all the others. Mm -hmm.